Today, we have an interesting experiment. We will check what will happen if these items connect to 220 volts. All this is designed for a small voltage, so the result from the outlet will be extremely unpredictable. Now it will explode. Wow, no, no, it's crazy. Look what happens to it. What is this? It looks like a smokehouse. And also we will squeeze 33 kilowatts of light out of the network with an arc spotlight on graphite rods. Do not repeat at home, it can be dangerous. But we are professionals. We can. So guys, where do you start? It seems to me that the first should be a screwdriver. But there is one problem. This one has a non-removable battery. Therefore, we will now analyze this and connect the voltage directly to the motor. This is a good battery. 800 milliamps. I'll tell you that this is the cheapest screwdriver, so we don't feel sorry for it. Well, screwdriver, show me what you can do. Wow. What was it? There is smoke. There was a very powerful spark. It looks like they were brushes, but they burned out instantly. It did not even have time to start. Immediately broke. I want to drain this battery. I think it's a must try. Let's go. <laughs> so, battery drain. Three, two, one. Have you seen it? It farted. You thought the battery farted? No, it's just the jumpers on this burned out. Look! Let's move on to the next one. We'll try to connect a lithium-ion battery to 220. At least no one has charged lithium yet. Ginger, do you want to me? Let the ginger be with you. Ginger is good there. One, two. Ginger, you better run. Three. Ginger ran away? Wow, the isolation came off this one. But we have another new contender. It's a scooter battery. This faithfully served its resource. And somewhere on the internet I read that such batteries can be restored if you briefly plug it into the network of 220 volts. All closed plates open there. And it starts to work further. The instruction is the same. The main thing is to stick it tightly and to the end. Step back further just in case. Three. Two, one. Now it will explode. The process has begun. Fine. This sound. Oh no, something is about to happen. It's something, you see? Yes. Such a terrible sound. Hold it. How do you sound, Anton? Terrible. I'm in shock. I thought it was going to be a big bang. It boiled right into the electrolyte. The sound was like a kettle slowly boiling. I thought it would explode. It can be seen that 220 clearly did not like it. It was very loud. It screamed right across the street. I have one huge battery in stock. Now we'll blow it up. Wow. This is Gagel. Wow, there are many more little ones. <laughs> Since it can bang very powerfully, I recommend removing all valuables further and I don't even know if it's better to do this on asphalt? Because suddenly the table will explode. It will be epic if it happens. Pity the table. But anything for you, our subscribers. And now we're roasting it. Or it will roast us. So, plus, and minus. It's only 5 volts. Quite dead. 1. 2. Three. <laughs> Here even the wires vibrate. Wow. No, no. It's crazy. Look what happens to it. What is this? It looks like a smokehouse. Just look at this. In my opinion it works like a boiler. Yes, an ordinary boiler. Imagine, it doesn't explode. They say that it is explosive, but in fact it is nonsense. Well, what does it smell like? Just don't breathe it in. Well, the usual electrolyte. Look. Look what I found. So interesting. What is this? 
Those are plugs. Electrolyte is normal. Boiling was most likely in the bank, which is dead. In this one? Yes, there is no electrolyte. Look, the plates are melted. Here's how you can find a non-working cell. The next is the Chinese column. I had it brought in for repairs a long time ago, and you will not believe, but the owner has already refused to repair it. So now we will successfully blow it up. Since this one doesn't have a power cord, we plug the 220 right where the batteries were inserted. Would he like dessert? Will it eat that much electricity? Or will it choke? Well, as we expected, a simple fart and from here came such smoke. Mega base. Don't you feel sorry for this? I wonder if it's possible to restore it. Now I'll fix it. I have one idea. <laughs> Something has burned out here, but we are wondering what it is. Now we will show you what burned down here. So, the corner of the board is just sooty. Here, look, the tracks on the power amplifier burned out. Not a single capacitor exploded. It's even a pity. Why not a capacitor? Now I will repair it. I have one secret method. How do you like this repair? Why are there only capacitors? Let's turn it on now, and you'll see how it works. It will sing with such content. This seems to be the most dangerous thing that will happen today. Count to three. Two. Three. Just look. Wait, don't paste. It caught fire. Burning green flame. Turn it off. Probably a shorted wire. Look what happened to the radio. It exploded really hard. Look, the capacitors are all intact. Only one exploded. On the contrary, I am very upset. Why only one? A short circuit has occurred. Now we'll fix everything. Let's remove the short one and continue. Round two. Three, two, one. Hold it. Why am I so scared? You've got smoke coming out of the outlet. The socket is not designed for such bullying. It is immediately obvious. Look what's happening there. One survived. Be careful, it can still explode. Just look at this hole that is formed in the capacitor. It's seriously damaged. Let's move on to our dessert. The most terrible thing that can be powered from 220 volts is our heavy-duty electric arc megatorch. Here it is. Just look at this. Graphite rods. In the previous video, you could see how scary it screams and shines brightly from the bike battery. But now we will apply 220 volts to the direct line. Well guys. This is a dangerous thing, so I prepared to the maximum. Well, let's start. And immediately breed it, do not keep it closed for a long time. Oh, it fell. Yes, turn off the refrigerator. Was it cool? No, you heard something fell apart somewhere. Really? <laughs> this is fun, so keep going. Let's go. Wow, it's so powerful. Even the pieces are falling apart. You know, I need a welder's mask. Let's go get the welder's mask. We have such luxury. Hold on. Now you are safe, it is not necessary. I'm protected enough. 300 amps. That's 33 kilowatts of light. Lines like a thousand wells. Oh my ears. Even the dogs barked there. Oh no. Oh, what are you doing? The extension cord is on fire. A little more and our extension will come to an end. Is it hot? There is tension here. Hope it doesn't explode. Look, this has come to an end. We have caught fire one pin and even melted. And here we have horror in general. It's very hot. This is 10 amps. Let's see what happened to the electrodes. But with this, nothing happened to it. As you can see, this one just burns out some kind of coating. This is made brittle, but fireproof. The experiment was a success. 
Now you know how dangerous a voltage of 220 volts is. And next time we will show you a completely new video in which we made ordinary household appliances make a sound. Subscribe to be the first to see it.